My history with Japan goes back a long way to the time when I was a child and to be honest it has never left me. I visited the country countless times and keep visiting mostly every year. The thing is, I can't really get enough of this land. The food, the culture, the anime and everything else. I moved there twice for work, went to school, learned the language decently and most of the best people I know are actually Japanese, it's just a part of who I am. During my latest trip to Kansai, I managed to capture some incredible scenes, and without further ado, let's start with Kyoto. The first thing you see when you arrive in Kyoto, and the last unfortunately, is the station. Kyoto station is not just a major transportation hub, but also an architectural landmark. I've got to be honest. Kyoto Station is a work of art, and often time underestimated by photographers. It has got an incredible metal structure, long escalators, shops, restaurants, and whatnot. Have a look at these shots. Looking up from outside is the Kyoto Tower, the tallest building in the city. This modern tower stands out in the traditional cityscape of Kyoto with its distinctive design and vibrant illumination at night. The inside of the station also makes it perfect for some framing shots. Kyoto Station is a captivating microcosm of everyday Japanese life, filled with thread of daily routines, endless commutes, but it goes beyond the transit point. Stepping into this hub is like stepping into the heartbeat of Kyoto itself. A seamless blend of tradition, modernity, that resonates with the essence of Japanese urban life. Just south of Kyoto, and within a couple of minutes, you arrive at one of the most unique places on earth. Fushiminari. Let's be honest, this location has been extensively photographed, and the internet is flooded with images of it, and rightfully so. The first time I went there, years ago, the only thing I had with me was my iPhone 6. My true passion for photography came much later, so this time around I aimed to approach this spot with a renewed perspective. Not simply with a different camera, but with a personal growth in photography and a desire to reimagine and capture the place with my own personal viewpoint. The journey to Fushiminari begins quite early, especially if you are on the savvy side. If you are on the silly side like me, wake up at 4. I like to take my time in the morning. The first train departs at 5.33 and I can guarantee you that by the time you arrive there will already be a few people around. In its emptiness you can get photos like these. At the end of the day, the combination of natural beauty, cultural significance and the unique visual makes Fushiminari a truly special place in Japan. The symbolic journey through the Tori Gates adds a layer of depth, inviting individuals to immerse themselves in a symbolic passage. I'm truly looking forward to returning to Fushiminari and next time I will explore during night. The illuminated Tori Gates and the dinner crowd will create a potential for unique photographic moments and long-lasting memories of its beauty. There is a district in Kyoto that is particularly famous for its charming atmosphere and the opportunity to experience the beauty of Japanese culture and history. This includes Kyomizo Dera, the Asaka Pagoda, the Asaka Shrine and Gion to some extent and countless other attractions. This spot is a profound sort of inspiration for anyone who is into Japanese culture. During the day is mostly chaotic because of the massive amount of tourists, but during the night becomes incredibly quiet. One thing you are never gonna run out of here is kimonos, which I'm totally obsessed with, almost as much as umbrellas.
This picture was particularly challenging to edit because the lady had a lot of destructive elements around her. It's not uncommon for photographers to find Higashiyama to be too busy and crowded. And while this is true, it's also true that this place empty will lose all of its magic. Here the crowd becomes an extension of the destination itself. Rather than diminishing the experience, it magnifies the authenticity of Higashiyama. I truly believe that. When exploring the main attractions in Kyoto, it's easy to overlook the hidden treasures in between. These places, often tucked away from the crowds, offer a more intimate and authentic experience of Kyoto cultural richness. And one of them is Adashino Nembutsuji Temple. This temple is shadowed by the Arashiyama district, but what sets it apart is the array of over 8,000 statues of the Buddha. Make no mistake, this is not merely a collection of statues, it's a tribute to the souls of the unclaimed, each one telling a different story. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many times I visit the ancient capital. Its charm remains a source of inspiration. Each trip offers the opportunity to dive deeper into its history, appreciate its cultural shapes and find new hidden gems. As for the whole of Japan, its beauty lies not only in the stunning landscapes, temples, shrines and historic district, but also in the subtle detail of everyday life. Whether it's just a vending machine, or a 7-Eleven convenience store, we love that attention to detail and commitment that is impossible to replicate anywhere else in the world. Regardless if you are a first time visitor or a seasoned traveler, the splendor remains exactly the same. I hope you enjoyed this video, I put some effort into it and then a lot of fun making it. If you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Check the description for the social media links and other useful information. Until next time, take care and see ya!